Remember, remember, the 5th of November. Now, of course, you've probably heard about the gunpowder plot, and you're probably familiar with the name Guy Fox. Uh, he is the inspiration for that iconic mask made so popular by uh, V for Vendetta and by the internet group Anonymous. But what actually happened? Good question. On uh, November 5th, 1605, this guy, Guy Fox, was caught trying to blow up 36 barrels of gunpowder and not just you know for fun on a slow weekend or something he was doing it because he wanted to kill king james and spoiler alert he did not succeed he got caught due to some anonymous letters the s hit the f if you know what i'm saying and ever since then people have commemorated this night some people celebrate it some people mourn it it's a uh, very big in the uk or it has been for some time but there's still quite a few things that americans most americans again don't know about it let's boil it down to five number one not a one-man show i mean guy fox gets all the credit but he certainly didn't do this by himself think of the gunpowder plot like the whole thing uh, way more like a heist movie than a kamikaze mission or a revenge film. In fact, Guy Fox wasn't even the leader of this uh, centuries-old Ocean's Eleven takeoff. You know, this guy was, again, just the explosives expert. The actual leader was a guy named Robert Catesby. Two, and I think this is one of the most important points here, which I probably should have put it later on the list, but anyway, we're filming it. Two, the whole thing was not to overthrow the incredibly, incredibly terrible and biased system known as a monarchy. No, no, they, they were killing the king, not because they wanted a more egalitarian society, it's because Catholics were being persecuted under the current government and they wanted to kill this king and instead of putting in a different system they wanted to replace him with his nine-year-old daughter who they would make sure was catholic three for such a famous guy there's a lot we don't actually know about guy fox uh, we don't have any official portraits of the dude and we can trace you know his uh baptismal records and a little bit of his war record but compared to many other people of the time, it's kind of a mystery. Four, all right, so those big bonfires that happened on, on Guy Fawkes or a bonfire night, those were actually ordered by King James as a commemoration of this event and uh, a celebration of him being alive. And it wasn't always an effigy of Guy Fox who were burning. Check this out. They, they started in the early days with effigies of the Pope or the devil. So, you know, this was a message that was a little bit on the nose, certainly not subtle. In one especially gruesome incident, there was actually a large effigy of the Pope constructed with like live cats sewn into its stomach. Because, you see, when they felt the heat of the flames, these cats would begin shrieking and screaming. And at this same fire party, there were effigies of devils on either side of the Pope effigy whispering to him, I imagine, about King James. But nowadays, centuries and centuries later, this celebration has evolved far beyond its original state, right, and its original commemoration. And that happens with all sorts of holidays, you know, Christmas, Halloween, etc. But one of the differences between this day and those other holidays is that it appears that Guy Fox Day and the 5th of November may be losing a little bit of market share to other holidays. You can find people uh, concerned that perhaps Halloween is supplanting it in the UK. And speaking of the UK, Matt and I want to thank our viewers in the UK there uh, for checking this out. We're sure that this is probably old news to a lot of you, but then again, to uh, quite a few Americans, myself and Matt included, uh, this is stuff that we did not know. Uh, we're very interested in the evolution of holidays. And we have a question for you. How long do you think people will remember, remember the 5th of November? Will it last another 100 years? Another 50? Let us know in the comments. And for those of you jumping down to the comments saying, I like the original format better, spoiler alert, we do too, which is why we have one new one coming out every week. So what's coming out this week? 
One way to find out. Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder, treason, and plot. I know of no reason why the gunpowder treason should ever be forgotten.